Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm going to show you how to easily adjust the volume on your Android device if your physical volume buttons aren't working anymore. You probably got some first-hand experience with this, but physical buttons can indeed fail. And if the volume buttons stop working, it becomes a fairly tedious task to adjust the sound output on your device. You have to go to the main settings menu and find the sound entry and then adjust from there. But if you just wanted to lower the volume on a song or a video real quick, that's way too cumbersome. So instead, give the app Volume Chop Cut a try. Right now it's still in its testing phases, so you have to join the app's Google Plus community to install it. I've got a link for this page over at the full tutorial, so check that out in the description below this video to get started. From here, hit the Ask to Join button, then you should be approved within a few minutes. When you've successfully joined the community, head to the beta testing opt-in page. This is another one that I have linked out at the full tutorial, so once you arrive here, tap the Become a Tester button. From here, use the link provided to head to the app's Play Store page. If the app doesn't show up immediately, just reboot your phone and try again. But once you have it installed, go ahead and open it to pick out your new volume interface. There's three different ways you can access the volume controls on your device. Basic notifications, extended notifications, and floating widget. Let's start with the first one. With this option enabled, you get an ongoing notification that provides a quick link to the system volume menu from any screen. Just tap it, then adjust the volume. Extra options for this mode can be accessed by tapping the first icon in the action bar. Here you can set the volume mode that this notification will link to, and you can even enable a shape gesture that will show or hide the notification. Back out to the main menu and we can check out the second method. Extended notification posts an ongoing notification with volume up, down, and mute buttons directly accessible. Again, if you hit the second icon in the action bar, you can adjust this one as well. Here you can set up a theme for this notification, even including a new lollipop version, which looks much better in my opinion. The third volume adjustment method you can use is floating widget. This feature has been a bit buggy for me so far, but if it works for you, it essentially puts a floating bubble on top of every screen that calls up the system volume menu when pressed. So no matter which of the three options you choose, it's certainly a lot easier to adjust your volume with broken buttons now. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.